In this video, I'm going to tell you everything they don't want you to know about chemistry. Everything is made of atoms, and atoms vibrate. In fact, each atom vibrates with a certain musical note. Hydrogen is C, helium is D, lithium is E, beryllium is F, boron is G, carbon is A, nitrogen is B, and oxygen starts over with the next higher oxide. Elements that have A or C notes are special and are important to life. This is why their atoms are circular, as the circle represents life. Poisonous elements, like arsenic, however, are shaped like swastikas, and this is why swastikas are considered evil. When elements react to form compounds, the notes come together to make a nice song. Unless the compound is poisonous, then it sounds like Satan screams. Compounds that occur naturally are known as organic, whereas compounds that are man-made are artificial and are bad for your health. So if you have been around a man-made compound and have been exposed to its toxic effects, you must cleanse yourself with natural water. The only natural water left is from mountains and glaciers, as that water has a different chemical formula and is therefore safe to drink. The water works by increasing your energy on a vibratory level. This changes the bond angles in your body from 66.6 .6 degrees to a perfect 33.3 degrees. Atomic masses increase in proportion to the golden ratio, scientific proof that the number is godly. The higher the mass, the more godly, which makes heavy elements glow. The glow is natural and healthy. For optimum effects, you should wear at least 12 grams of a naturally glowing element like tritium every day. It will glow less and less every day as it takes on your negative energy and you absorb its positive energy. Therefore, it should be changed out every 12 months. The field of pseudochemistry is medicine. It proclaims to heal you, but it only treats the symptoms, since it uses artificial chemicals. Use organic chemicals when at all possible, and you will experience greater energy healing. We live in a sad time where, unfortunately, everyone has forgotten the great knowledge of the ancients. Have you noticed how they never grew old? This is because they knew to heal, not just treat the symptoms. As an alternative, you should see a holistic healer that can increase your internal energy. By increasing your internal energy, you become more enlightened, until you become so enlightened that you begin to glow and eventually vaporize into an omnipotent source of pure good. This is what happened to the Maya. They are still around, but they now vibrate on an energy frequency so high they have gone into another dimension. Scientists have recently figured out how this works. Most of the carbon inside of us is carbon-12, which contains six protons, six neutrons, and six electrons. Six, six, six. This is the work of Satan. Higher vibrational energy causes carbon-12 to turn into carbon-7, which has six protons that surround a single neutron in the shape of the flower of life. Brilliant, right? Carbon-7 has so much energy that it makes you vaporize into another dimension, a much more beautiful dimension. In this dimension, there are no electrons. Electrons are negative and are the cause of pain and suffering on Earth. There are only protons and neutrons. Electrons make our world mostly empty space, space that in this dimension is filled with protons, radiating out positivity. But why aren't there electrons? This is because electrons are three-dimensional particles and they cannot exist in higher dimensions. However, neutrons are fifth-dimensional particles and protons are seventh-dimensional, because the seventh dimension is perfect, it is only positive. An interesting thing happens when you jump to the fifth dimension to the sixth. So anyone in dimensions three or higher can instantly make something three dimensions lower appear. In the third dimension, we can use a pencil to make a dot appear instantly. And a dot is from dimension zero. So sixth dimensional beings can make any 3D objects appear instantly because to them, it is just a dot. The very first sixth dimensional being is known by everyone, but by different names. God, Allah, Shiva, Quetzalcoatl, etc. This being created a dot that became our universe in what was known as the Big Bang. This being then went to the seventh dimension, also known as the perfect dimension. If you are good in this world, you will ascend to the fourth dimension after death. If you are not, you go down to the second dimension. Being good in a lifetime allows you to ascend one dimension to the next. God was good, so he jumped to, from the... Sixth dimension to the seventh. This is really cool. It means that, not including this lifetime, you need to live only another three good lifetimes to make it to the seventh dimension. Most eventually must behave and are knocked back down before reaching the seventh. And here we see reincarnation. I hope you found this video about the ultimate truth of chemistry interesting. And as a final note, I made it all up. Whatever I randomly thought of became the next point in my arguments. 
rewatch it, there are a ton of logical fallacies and unsupported claims. In fact, it's not even internally consistent. If you believe something like this without question, you need to work on your critical thinking skills, ask for sources, look for evidence, find the logical fallacies. And if you still believe the crap I just outlined, seek mental help.